Right, do you know what to do or who you should call if you find a baby squirrel? Today we're uh, getting answers. Yes, our great outdoor explorer Ashley Williams is hanging out at the wildlife care, finding out a whole lot more okay, how to for, care for these babies. First off, are you amazed? I am amazed for so many different reasons. First of all, I'm just amazed really with the volunteers here at the Wildlife Care Association. They do such incredible work, but I'm also just learning so much, guys. And I'll be very, very honest. This all kind of sparked with something personal. Um, I, in fact, I actually ended up getting a tree trimmed in my backyard. My house, unfortunately, um, was, you know, it, it was close to being taken out by a tree. So I had to take the tree down and my arborist ended up finding baby squirrels and a piece of that tree and unfortunately the mom had to leave but the good news is mom came back and found the baby squirrels but my arborist had a he really knew what to do in those situations but apparently this is certainly the season where this is this is very common right now this is terry terry good morning to you hi good morning it is very common right now people are trimming their trees they always trim it in the spring and we always get babies from tree trimming. Yeah, and, and on top of that, you know, we've been talking about the uh, the winds. Jordan, you're just talking about the winds. Well, mm -hmm. because of the high gust winds and it's being uh, being very gusty, guys, the nests are being blown out of the trees, and oh. therefore these baby squirrels are being disconnected from mom. Oh. Correct. We get them in all the time where people say, oh, the nest blew down, or squirrels love to nest in palm trees. Yeah. And a palm tree will sway really badly in the wind. Okay. And the nests just fly out. Yeah. So the couple of things to know when you spot that, but you go ahead and let's talk about what you have here. But so what, let's talk about first and foremost, when you spot baby squirrels, what's the first thing to do? First thing to do is to see if mom is still around. If, if the nest is blown down, odds are mom is someplace in the area. And the best thing we want to do is get these back to mom. Okay. She'll come and get them, okay. uh, regardless of whether you've touched them or done anything with them. Definitely, you know, mom wants them back yeah. and we want her to have them back. Sure. So uh, it's, uh, the most important thing is uh, keeping them warm. Keeping them warm, absolutely. So this is... Uh, one way to keep them warm, you can put them in. Everybody has these really comfortable little socks around their house. You can put the babies in the sock. And if you have like rice in a sock, you can put this on there. Mm -hmm. At this age, they cannot thermoregulate. They cannot contain their body heat. Okay. So they're going to get cold really, really quickly. Okay. But this is a good way to keep them warm while mom is looking for them. So, you know, we have about 30 seconds, Terry. So we're going to go ahead and feed another baby squirrel. So you could certainly put the baby in a sock, keep it warm, um, and put it at the base of the tree. And hopefully mom will come back and grab. In the meantime, what you don't want to do also, and this little guy's older, so cute. Do not feed them. Terry, tell us why. Do not feed them. Um, it's very easy to give them the wrong food or to aspirate them, which means that, you know, people try to feed them. They're the best of intentions, but really don't feed them at all because okay. you could you could drown them, basically. And Terry, we do have to wrap it up, but people might not understand what a squirrel's nest looks like. If you could just explain that very briefly. It basically looks like a bunch of dead leaves in the tree. It's going to be a little bit away from the trunk, but it's not going to be recognizable as like a bird nest. It's okay. going to be a round basketball-shaped bunch of dead leaves okay thank you so much we have the hotline number there on the screen we'll make sure to link it to our website gooddaysacramento.com but first and foremost keep the baby squirrels warm tina and jordan secondly if you cannot find mom keep them warm maybe bring them in or at the very least call the hotline and you guys can figure out exactly what to do Got absolutely right. we will walk you right through it thank you. thank you so much and how cute is this so cute right? so feeding the baby adorable. squirrel i oh, know so cute and the baby squirrel's name now is oh. ashley ashley yeah we're oh. gonna name it ashley hi ashley <laughs> baby ashley hi ashley that's oh. ashley baby ashley all right there you go see you later <laughs>